In this video, we're going to be taking a look at how to use the planar tracker to add a digital timer to a prop we're going to be using for a short film. I figure it's a cool way to use the planar tracker in a creative and a little bit different way. So check it out. We're going to try to add a digital timer right into this blacked out screen. I was thinking about using a real digital timer like an Apple Watch or something like that and putting it inside the prop, but I figured on set that was going to be too much of a pain in the ass to deal with. So I figured it would probably be easier to just record my kitchen timer on my stove and use the planer tracker and put it digitally on top of my prop. I think it came out pretty good, so here's how we're going to do it. First we're going to add a planer tracker. And we're gonna go backwards, make sure we're on frame run one. Frame one. We're going to set the reference frame. And that gives you this little arrow tool that you're gonna be able to draw wherever you wanna track. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. And I'm gonna track this little screen. So I'm gonna draw a pretty sloppy and basic outline around it. Doesn't need to be too crazy. Just give it the computer something, point of reference that it's gonna be able to, to track throughout the entire shot. So we're gonna hit track forward, and that's gonna track to end. You can do, if you started in the middle for some reason, I don't like to do that, I like to start in the first frame, I just think it makes my life easier. But you can track forward and backwards if for some reason you needed your reference frame in the middle. Um, in our case, we're just gonna track forward to the end. So now that we've tracked forward, we are going to change this operation mode right here from track to corner pin. And we're going to take these corners and match up exactly where we want our image to fall. So that's the corners of this little black box. Right here and right here. You just want the edges to match up as much as they possibly can with the surface that you're using. That should be okay. So now we can bring in our footage of the kitchen timer. Connect that to the planer tracker. And it immediately looks like shit. <laughs> so what I'm going to do in this instance, I want to get all the reflections and things that were on the glass. So I want to get rid of this entire black background and only have the authentic glowing numbers. So what I'm going to do is go into the planar tracker. I'm going to drop down this corner pin one, and this gives me all these merge options, which are kind of hard to find. And to be honest, it's going to be a little while digging. Um, I'm going to do the apply mode to lighten and that knocks out all the black and just leaves us with the nice glowing numbers it looks pretty cool so back to our footage we're gonna do shift space we're gonna add a transform gotta spell it right transform xf and we're gonna get this sized up and put slide it into place somewhere like that. I like actually like these little icons. I think I'm gonna leave them in there. It looks like it's connected to Wi-Fi or something like that. So maybe our guy in our short film, that's how he's using it. Uh, so that works for our purposes. So I'm gonna leave it alone. Now I'm gonna play this and see how our track did. And it's not looking too bad. Got the reflections going over top of the numbers and the track actually looks pretty dang good. I'd say that's pretty believable. Now, if you want to push this a little bit further, um, you could always add a color corrector. And to me, it looks like it's standing out a little too much. I know that it's backlit, but it just doesn't quite feel right. So I'm actually going to turn the gain down just a hair. Kind of tuck it in just a little bit, not too crazy, no, not a major move there. Uh, and then if you don't like the color, you could always change the hue and saturation. Maybe you want it to be neon green. Maybe that works for your purposes. Maybe you want it to be bright red. Pretty quick and easy. So yeah, just a cool and creative way to use a planer tracker. And uh, it saved me a lot of headaches 
trying to build that digital screen into the actual prop. So hope you dug it and uh, we'll see you in the next one.